everyone. Right, okay, so in, the morning. in this video, we're gonna give you our top fives. We're probably gonna do stuff like top five films, top five rides overall, and we'll probably share that one because we'll probably that, get stuck. That we really like. Yeah. In this one, I think we'll include Universal. Yeah. And stuff like that. Maybe. Especially Hollywood Studios. I like Hollywood Studios. I like Hollywood Studios. That, that we, we're going into this too soon. I was going yeah. to say, what's your favourite yeah. park? Right, okay, let's start. So let's start with... Top five. Top five favourite films. So okay. we'll favorite take it. Favourite film. We um, need top five, so you... The top five, I would say, the films would be... Um, I don't know, actually. I would say... I hope Dad's good at editing this. He probably is. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll go first, yeah, do you, you think? Go first. So one of my favourite films. The top five. Yeah. We are doing top five. Chat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I said one of. One of my favourite films when I was younger was Beauty and the Beast, and that's because I looked like Belle. As you can tell, this is most probably not my natural hair, as it's probably very obvious, but um yeah, I had really dark brown hair, brown eyes, I loved reading, and so yeah, I kind of related most to Belle, and so that ended up being my uh, favourite film, Beauty and the Beast. Although, can I say, I have not watched the new Beauty and the Beast film with Emma Watson in. Yeah, that is basically Hermione. Yeah, well it is Hermione. Yes. But um, I think what we're planning to do from now is to watch one Disney film each week until we go on holiday. Mm -hmm. So, That's a good idea. Right, your turn. What's your favourite film? Okay, I was thinking my top five would be Inside Out. Is that is that your number one or your number five? Number five. Number five. Okay. Because I like Inside Out. That that's a good film. Because just the fact that it tells us that we have memories inside our brain and thoughts yeah and like joy and anger and sadness and fear and disgust it's just very interesting mm -hmm. um another one of my favorite i love princess and the frog that is mm -hmm. that's probably up there in my top three favorite films why is it top five then um why is it in your fourth well, it's not. I'm not doing it in order you can do yours in order mine are not in order oh, fine. um yeah, I love I love the Princess and the Frog. I think it's such an amazing film. Okay. And um, yeah, I still haven't met Tiana or Prince Naveen. <laughs> That's my mission. Um, um. Yeah, my top fourth favorite film would be. Um. What's that? What is it? I don't know. Wizard of Oz. That's not a Disney film. Oh. Okay, so we've got three so far. We'll we'll do it between us. So I'll pick another one and then you get one more, yeah? Okay. Okay, so my next favourite film is The Incredibles. I love The Incredibles. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. I am so excited for The Incredibles 2 to come out because The Incredibles came out when I was little. And so I've been waiting this, for this for so long. <laughs> And now it's going to come out next year, I think, next 2019? Year. Oh no, that's two years away. It's so either going to come out 2018 or 2019. I think it's 2019. That's unfortunate for you. <laughs> um, right, and then last one. I may have to go with Incredibles as well. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just... I thought you might pick something like Finding Nemo. You used to love that. Yeah, no. Which I tell you what you used to watch a lot when you were little. What? Snow White. Like mum and dad had to buy it on DVD because you used to want to watch it that badly. Oh my god. Actually no, not Incredibles. No. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's basic. It I would say it's a new film. Go on. Finding Dory. Oh. See, I've not seen Finding Dory either. There's all these new Disney films and I've not seen them and I feel left out. I have. I've seen, it's amazing. Is it? Yeah, it shows Dory as a kid as well. He was so <gasps> oh, cute. Oh, I've seen that. She does look really cute and small. So cute. I have a Dory teddy somewhere. 
I'm not gonna find it now. Yeah, there's no, there's no point because we're doing a video now. Um, should we do rides now? All right, top five rides. Are you gonna be able to think of enough to do five on your own? Yes. All right, go on then. Number five is. And remember, you're allowed to include Universal. <laughs> Splash Mountain. Love it. Right. That that deep drop is amazing. I'm not too keen on Splash Mountain. Like I like it, mm -hmm. but if we could only go on one ride, one ride, it definitely would not be Splash Mountain. That would be at the bottom of my list. I agree. Um, yours. Okay. So my top, um, my fifth favorite ride is probably. Um, I don't really know. Do I have to do them in order? Yes. <sighs> okay. Well, you, you go for your fourth one then, because I'm not too sure at the moment. I can't order them. It wouldn't be fair for Dad. Because then... Well, no, I don't... I wouldn't want Dad to, like, okay. edit it okay. so they'd be in order. Okay, fine. Um, number four. Favourite ride. Um, I would say it's in Hollywood Studios, and it's the Great Movie Ride. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably my that's probably my fifth one. It's a great movie ride. It's amazing. Y you get to um, what's that film in the great movie ride where there's the gunshot and then someone new comes up. Um, oh, when the car gets hijacked by either a robber yeah. or a gang member. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool because it it varies each time. What movie? You will either like, get like a gang member or a robber or a robber. I don't I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Dad. I'd have no idea. Okay. And, when I'm and, there, I remember. And you like you get to go through Indiana Jones when he's like stealing the precious jewel and the stone. Yeah. Design. That's pretty cool as well. Okay, so my top five. So my fifth one would be Star Tours. I love that ride. It's an amazing ride. That Star was, Tours. That was going to be my number one. <laughs> you can still say it as your oh. number one. But yeah, Star Tours is an amazing ride. I'm pretty sure it's in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, yes yeah. it is. Um, but yeah, that is a pretty amazing ride. Okay. I got to be the uh, rebel. Yeah. Who, you, who have you been the rebel? I Probably. It's my it's my fourth time, so probably. Um, yeah, I've only been a rebel once, and I went five times. I would say, wait. You're on your third. Just do your another? third, and I'll do my fourth okay. after. Um, my third would be. Um. Do you need me to do my fourth? No, okay. the Thunder Mountain. Awesome. Yes, I love that ride. It's actually it goes ride. really, really fast as well. It's awesome. I love Big Thunder Mountain, and it's better at night. Yeah, it goes quicker at night. Yeah, doesn't it? Don't know why. I think it's where the tracks get worn. It goes quicker. Splash Mountain also looks awesome. Oh night. yeah, at night Splash Mountain looks it's amazing. Awesome. I'm saying um, awesome a lot. Yeah, chill out. Right. People are going to start making a game to see how many times you say awesome in one video. Um, That's actually pretty good at all. I'm going to even say awesome. Okay, so my fourth favourite. Good. I like that. <laughs> There's a pink car out the window and Harry's just spotted it. Um, my fourth favourite ride. Oh, did you just yeah, my finger? I hate that. <laughs> My fourth favourite uh, ride is in... It's like when I when we do PHSE um, bones. Oh. Yeah, Harry's very squeamish. Um, <laughs> it, um, I'm going to say it's in Universal. I'm pretty sure it's in the Universal and not Islands of Adventure. But my fourth favourite ride is The Mummy. That's an amazing ride. The mum will agree with me here. I it's know. amazing. That is one of the best rides I've ever been on. Yes, mum. Oh, speaking of... Mum's just turned up home. I um, think, I think mum... No, she, she doesn't see me. <laughs> but she's driving! <laughs> Number two, for me. Yeah. No, hang on, let, let me do my third one and then 
you do that and then we'll catch up a little bit. Okay, so my third favourite. This is where it gets difficult. Please let us do it. Well, tell me what it is, Anel. Tell me what it is. No, it's not. Chill out. <laughs> so, my third favourite. I don't know. I have lots of favourite rides. I don't really like... I'm very much a thrill seeker. I love... Oh, my third favourite ride is the Hulk. There you go. Straight out. The Hulk. Which is in Islands of Adventure. It's in Islands of Adventure. Okay. Actually, my third favourite is either the Hulk slash Rip Ride Rocket. Which is in Universal. But it is an amazing okay. ride. Okay. Big roller coasters. Number... Two? Two. Two. Is... Many of you will agree with this. The Minion ride. It's awesome. It's, and it's 3D. It's amazing. Can you see the 3D? Uh, yeah. Oh. Ah. I didn't know if you'd be able to because of your eyes. Even now, I can still see 3D. I've got another amazing one as well. Oh, um, well, tough. You, you're going to have to wait until we do our top um, five rides in each park. You're going to have to wait. So, all right, my second favourite. I was going to say, how about we do honourable mentions and we get two honourable mentions? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, right, chill out now. My second favourite ride, which is very, very close to my top one. Mm, okay. Tower of Terror. Oof. You've never been on Tower of no, Terror. I think it's really scary. It is very scary. I and know, my I, mum hates sitting by me because I scream. I, I know it's scary because even my dad won't go on it. Yeah, but dad's scared of heights. So, it's still scary. I can hear the screams from out there as well. Yeah, that, that's how you know it's a good ride if you can hear people screaming. Okay. It was an amazing ride. For my first honourable mention. No, you've not even done your top one yet. No, we have to do honourable mention. Oh, uh, okay. Do. Okay, sorry. Um, Shrek 4D. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know, I've seen Shrek 4D so many times that I'm like, yeah. It's boring. Oh, I mean, it's not boring, I still it, enjoy it. Yeah. But it, I know exactly what's, what's going to happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just like, yeah, it's chill. I know what's going to happen, I don't need to freak out here. Yeah. Alright, my honourable mention, Men in Black. I love Men in Black, that's an amazing ride. I haven't gone on that, I don't think. Yeah, you have. Oh, I you have, been. but you were little. Have I? Yeah. The second time we went. So not last time, the time before that. Well, the second time you went. Okay. Um. One more honourable mention each. It's hard to <laughs> I would say, for my last honourable mention, is, um, you go, I'm trying to think. Alright, my honourable mention is Test Track. Oh, I, I, and it's I only an honourable mention because I completely forgot about it completely forgot it existed <laughs> and that is why it is my honourable mention right your turn um I would say oh, oh okay I've got a new number one okay honourable <laughs> mention right I would say my number one it, it my may... Disney experience that by the way it may be like a child's ride, but I love the ride. Woody Peckers. Woody Woodpeckers. Yeah, Woody Woodpecker. I don't know what it is. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, it's <laughs> in... awesome. Where's that one? Is that in? It's in Magic Kingdom. No. No, it's not. It's no. in Islands of Adventure. Yes. Yes. It. I. I love it so much. I go on it like. Twice or three times. Yeah, the first time he ever went on it, he would not go on it. Even though he'd been on like Big Thunder Mountain and stuff like that, he would not go on it. And I had been on it the first time I went, and I was in love with it. But obviously, I was at the that age where I was like, I can't go on this without Harry. So I forced you on there. Yeah. And then how many times did you go on there afterwards? Like four times, I would say. Yeah. 
We have to go back at one point. Right, you look through there. You tell me which one it is. All right, so my top, ultimate top favourite ride is Haunted Mansion. Despite the fact that it breaks down almost every time, without fail... Barnstormer. Oh, no, Barn... No, that, that's not it. No, it's not. That's not got an alien that's trying to get home. No. Woody Pecker. Woody Woodpecker. Oh! Also. Okay. I also really like Pirates of the Caribbean. Stop just good. naming films. Find the one that you're after. Fine. Um, yeah. Even though Haunted Mansion breaks down every time, I love it. And I love Memento Mori as well, the shop. Um, what did mention is so good that it's a 60 minute wait. Is it 60 minutes? Yeah, 60 minutes. Oh. What did mention? No, I'm not done. Oh, you're not done. Okay, but yeah, so that's my top five rides. Out of and mine. It's not I didn't mention good. anything at Animal Kingdom, which Mum will be disgusted at because I've not mentioned Expedition Everest, which is also a f an amazing roller coaster. But out of my top, top five, that doesn't quite hit it. Where's the... Think in your head and I'll... I'll do my top five characters. Okay. Okay. So my top five Disney characters. Let's think. Alright. Number five. It's got to be Ariel. I love Ariel. I think she's amazing. Oh! I like mermaids. I've always liked mermaids. If I could be anything, it would be a mermaid. Meg? Yes, hi. Have I ever been on the Navi River journey? Because no, it's cause temporarily closed. Yep, because it's not. Nope. It's new. It wasn't even there when, last time we went. Oh, hi. Huh. That'd be why. My fourth favourite has got to be. Flynn Rider. I love Flynn Rider. I think he's so funny. He is. He He's one, the only Disney character to question the constant singing in Disney films, which I think is amazing. Breaking a fourth wall. I can't find it. You can't find it. You've given up. It's the E. e. Do you mean Figment? No. E is something beginning with E. Oh, if you guys know, please tell me. <laughs> I do know it. Is it Ellen? No. Ellen's a great ride. I don't know if it's going to be there when we go back, but Ellen, that that's a good ride. He he needs something to get home. I honestly have no idea what you're on about. You're probably going to have to shout Dad. Dad! I'll, I'll continue. So yeah, you continue, I'll be right back. Alright. He's gonna pop off. So be right back. You've got so who have I said? See look, he's gone and distracted me now. I said Ariel and Flynn Rider. And then it starts to get difficult. Um one of my favourite characters which I've got up there, because I collect the Disney traditions and figurines, is Marie from the Aristocats. I love that film. And I love Marie. It's an empowering female cat. He's back, he remembers. What, well, wait until I finish doing my characters. Okay. Sit back. Um, uh, you're kind of squishing me. Sorry. Can you leave me up? <sighs> My second favourite, and this is where it gets difficult, has got to be Tigger. Tigger. Yeah. Me and Harry, when Harry was little, we used to shout that at each other across the house all the yeah, time. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and then my first favourite, my ultimate favourite character is Tinkerbell. She is my favourite. I love Tinkerbell to pieces. Although, however... um. She talks very fast and I can't understand her. Really? Yeah. Okay. Although it's... I also love Disney villains, if you can't tell by my top. E.T. Oh, E.T. Yeah. Oh, E.T. Fallen Hop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, okay. Where have you gotten to? Uh, so I've just all done all five of my favourite characters. All five. All five. So now you can do all five of yours. Okay. Number... Think of them quickly. 
Number five would be um, Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Well, that's two. It still it still counts as one. Okay, it still counts as one. When um, you do that, I'm gonna grab a drink. Chip is hilarious. Yeah, we had quite a funny encounter with Chip and Dale, didn't yeah, we? That one um, time. Where was it? It was in Epcot at the characters' fun stop. It wasn't that. No, we, it, it was, was a I restaurant. Oh, at Garth and Grill. Yeah. Yeah, um, at the spinning restaurant. While it was spinning, Chip and Dale came up to us and then... What did he do? I don't know, but when we met him in, in Epcot, outside the pavilions, he stole your glasses. Yep. Was it my glasses he stole or yours? Yours. It was my glasses and he stole your hat. Yeah. Yes, he did. Number... Four. Number four is Simpsons. They Bart took my hat, took it off, turned it around, and then put it back on. Yeah, that was at you. No, you that was that you, was at Islands of, of Adventure that that happened in the Simpsons land. And then Marge put it back in, the right way. Yeah, I liked it more that way. <laughs> Never mind. Um, number three. Mm. Pluto. Oh, you had fun with Pluto, didn't you? You were desperate to meet Pluto last yep. time we went. Probably because he's a dog and he's funny. Yeah, you love dogs. Yep. As I said, we have fun. Um, number two. Mm. Donald with the um, Mexican hat. Oh, yeah, Donald's in the Mexican pavilion. Yeah, funny. You met him on your own, didn't you? Yes. No. Yeah, Dad. You, well, yeah, but Dad didn't really. Um, Dad stood there and took pictures. <laughs> number one overall. Your overall favourite character is going to be big. Talking Mickey. Oh, yeah. Dad wasn't there. It was awesome. He, I, I wanted to ask him a question. What was it? I don't know. I can't remember. Talking Mickey was so good. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, awesome. that, that's the one character that Dad wants to meet because he missed him last time because Dad had hurt his back. Yes. And he so hurt his back for quite a while. Yeah, but that one day was really, really bad and so it was just me, you and Mum and we went yeah. to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, and now we went to um, restaurants now. Are we going to do it shared together? Yeah. Alright, go. Number one is, I would say... You have to say you agree. Beauty and the Beast. I do. Right. I like Beauty and the Beast. But, but I don't like their food. Yeah, I'm very picky with their food. If I eat there, there's not a lot that I'll eat. However, I'm desperate to go for breakfast there. But when Mum and Dad did the ADRs, I'm not sure if they said this in their video. Yes, they did. Did they? Yes. Yeah, about they how said, it, they, they, they couldn't did. book it for when we are planned. Mm -hmm. So, as long as we get to do a breakfast there, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't. Because I'll eat their breakfast. I don't think we will. No, I reckon we, we will. I reckon Mum and Dad will move it about. We hopefully will do it one time there. Yeah. In, in because we're there two weeks, two whole weeks. Yeah, and it's then there, we're, there, we're there for nearly three weeks this time, Harry. Because so. we're there, like, almost to Christmas. Yeah, we come back on the 18th of December, exactly a week before oh, Christmas. Exactly. Perfect. Seven days. Um, your go. Okay. So this isn't a restaurant, but Dole Whips. Dole Whips are amazing and they would probably be on my top one. They are my ultimate favourite food. So you're first. At Walt Disney World, yeah. Okay. Your first food. Okay. Yeah. We should do foods instead of restaurants. Oh, yeah, that's fine, okay. just name stuff. Okay, um, number, I've got one special one. Go on. Um, for number one. Go. Um, number four, I would say, Garden Grill. Really? Yeah. You didn't eat much there, though. Okay, it's you you just like it because it's the fact that it's spinning and so your surroundings change, don't you? And the fact that you get to meet all the characters. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I still I eat like. some. Yeah, you do. Meg ate mostly the salad, really, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, and their sausages. Yeah, they I really nice. like those sausages. Yeah, we kind of had to fight over those, didn't we? Yeah. Um, yes, we did. <laughs> so, I'm going to name this one, even though we've not been there yet, but we've booked reservations to go there for breakfast. Okay. Come and on. it's the Adventure Breakfast. I haven't seen it. At... I want to say Algetoria. Yeah. I'm not sure whether that's how you say it, and Dad will probably like put Tell in a little me. box at the bottom correcting me. Yeah. But um, yeah. But I'm gonna say that one because, right? So you get breakfast there, oh. and you get to meet Rapunzel. That'll be good for mine. And Eru, and mm. Prince Eric, and Flynn Rider, and that makes me really excited. Okay. And the breakfast looks amazing as well. Okay, pretty wise choice. Number three. Wise. Mm. Getting stuck now. Who? No. Go on. Oh, is that is that your number one? T Rex. <gasps> yeah. I love. I'll agree with that. I'll skip my number three for T Rex. T Rex was really loved good. Loved it. I loved the decorations as well. Yeah, the there, surroundings. Because when we sat down, there was t there was a T Rex over us. Protecting us. Yeah, we we door. we had one of the T Rexes um position behind us. And a no, pterodactyl. the pterodactyls all over that. But it's like split into three or four different scenarios. Yeah, and there was so it's the prehistoric, the ice age, sea life, and then something else. I think. And there Not sure was. It might have been three. And there was the aquarium in the middle. Yeah, that's what I said. The sea life. Oh, right. Um, your go. All right, so I've just hit my number three. So this is my number two. Yeah. Um, my number two, Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, you have. Oh. That that's what you know the singing like, dragon thing. What? Cosmic Rays. It's in Magic Kingdom, and it's opposite Tomorrowland Speedway. I have another favorite ride. It's amazing and they've got so much food there it's not just like one type of food so like they don't specialize in chicken you can get like chicken nuggets at one end and like full-on like steak at the other and it's a quick service restaurant as well so you go out get your food and then find somewhere to sit and it's massive it's a perfect place so it's all I've never been in there and it'd be ridiculously busy I... I've always found seats really easily there I've got another ride that I have to say. I just have to. I'm sorry. It's... I can't remember it because I haven't been there so long. It's Five Senses, Purple Dragon. Figment. Yeah, Figment. Love it. He loves Figment. Harry, Harry likes science. Yeah. So Figment is very much up Harry's street. I guess you would say I'm a scientist. Right. Um, what about Sci-Fi Diner? No. Really? The place where we have breakfast every day. At French Quarter, Riverside. Oh, the food court. It. Yeah. Love uh, that. I, ha I love the chicken nuggets. Harry likes the hotel food courts. Yeah. I love their chicken nuggets. I think I appreciate their food the most when we've got back from getting on the plane. Yeah. Getting off the plane, checking in. Putting all our bags in our room. Especially... We go down and eat. And we're going down there to eat at like 8 o'clock. Oh, yes. Which at our time is like 8. The time I go to bed. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning back here in the UK. Yeah. By the time we end up eating tea. Oh, that's... Okay, um, my number two. Okay, guys. So my number two is... Um, probably the frozen Coke or Coca-Cola, that you can get at the, um, oh, I don't know what it's called, but it, it's in Epcot, outside Test Track, and it's got loads of mist and stuff, and it's like, in, it's designed like a car wash, and right at the back, you can get drinks there, and you can get a frozen lemonade there, you can get a frozen Coca-Cola there, and a frozen Coca-Cola there, it was amazing, it's something I love. Okay, my first. Your top one. Honourable mention. Oh, are you doing an honourable mention? Yeah. Okay. 
my honourable mention is the place where you try drinks for free. Oh, Club Cool. Yeah. Where you get to try all the different drinks from across the world. Yep. Beverly. No. Love it. It is not disgusting. Beverly tastes like how a Monday feels. Or how a Wednesday feels. Depends which day is your worst. Um, Thursday. Really? Thursday? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Alright. Okay. My number one. Uh, um, my number one. I don't know, do you know what your number one is right now? Yes. Alright, well you go with your number one then. My number one. Hoopty Doo Review. Yes, I, I'll agree with that. We'll share that one. Alright. Hoopty Doo Review. Awesome. Awesome you, you acting. Can, you can explain what happens at Hoopty Doo Review. <laughs> Sorry, my hand's cold. Yes. Sorry. Uh, you, I don't have to explain, they can see it. We've made a video. Yes, we have. If you go back a couple of videos on our channel, Dad will just leave a link. Yeah. Probably, probably there. No, no, no. Uh, there, there probably. Um. If he doesn't, that's going to be really awkward. Because what about if he does it like right down there? <laughs> yeah. Hoop to do is Some, amazing. Somewhere on this. Screen. Somewhere in this little box. Um. <laughs> Dad will leave the link. To Hoopsy Do a review. It is so, amazing. Yeah, it is. It I is love, really cool. I love their food. I love their chicken. I, lo I, I love their big beans, as you already said. Yeah, I for me, personally, I don't eat much there because I don't like eating chicken nuts on a bone. However, everything else I'll eat. So it's just yeah, the chicken, really, that it's I don't just, eat, isn't it? Who's that guy who's hilarious with the drum? Oh, I don't um, know his name. I don't know any of their names. I don't know. I've forgotten. He's the. Just letting you guys know. Six you, bits. That's his name. It's six bits. If you go there, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy with the drum and the hat. He's amazing. Love him. Um, I'm going to be doing some vlogs of my own without <gasps> this one. Um. <laughs> In these, I'll probably do some hauls of any shopping that I do for the holiday. Why? I'll do some hauls of any Disney stuff that I've got. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably do a couple of makeup tutorials and stuff like that, yes, maybe. Yes, you're very fond of that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably do le be less likely to do the makeup tutorials. It'll be the any holiday shopping hauls, any scrapbooking I do, and stuff like that. So yeah. I've been Meg. I've been Harry, nine years old. <laughs> and that's us. See you next time.